Mr. Michael. I have been uh, for 17 years working in the uh, organization. Then I decided to open up my own PR firm, where mainly I conduct event management and also giving workshop and talks to university in uh, Australia, Indonesia, Thailand, Japan, today in Japan. Yep, I went there. Because I love to share knowledge and skills with all my PR and uh, communication uh, brothers and sisters. Because I want you to know what is the what that can happen outside in books, in the industry, in the industry. And still, it's the first time that can be practiced. Especially, for example, when you write a press release, you have to talk about what W, what H, who, what, when, where, why. Who are you? Right? Uh, who are a ma, right? Right? Uh, yeah. Man. 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 Right? Only the PR person knows what is PR person. And in publication or in your daily lives, in your daily I mean, every day, uh, every day, never tell lie, even if it's tell. Outside of your PR person, Yes, especially with the with the journalists, with the media. A PR student, you must know how to ask questions. Yes. About the other because when you work, you are the brand, the brand in two of the company. You are the sheriff. You are the sheriff. You are the sheriff. You have so many brands. When you deal with the public, the public, because you are, you are going to represent the organization or the company. And you are going to talk to the public. Then you must talk nicely. Good word. Good facial expression. Good communication. Yes. But before we say that, well, this person is not good. He is not good because he talks with us very aggressively. Talk nicely. Talk nicely with them. In management, you have to conduct the event 100% on yourself. You mean on your own for event management. And then we have a government relation where you have to deal with the government and the ministers, the ministry office, and with the government officers. So that's all about public relation. But I am living and dying in public relation. For me, before I go to class, myself, my phone will be silent. Number one. Number two, I only prepare for the class. Number three, I can see in the journalist, journalism class two days ago when, when they submit the paper to the to Dr. Zuhir, it's like this, like this, like this. No. Submit like this. You have to respect the professor, the lecturers. Do not uh, fold it like this, fold it like this, fold it like this. Give it. You have to respect it because this is branding. It shows about yourself. If you do like this, like this, and you give the professor, the lecturer, it's negative. To me, to me, maybe it's a culture here, but to me, it's negative. You have to be a very nice, clean paper. It's part of it. To me, right? But this, I, I saw it when I attend the Zuhir class, in the journalism class. Okay? Maybe it's a culture, but it can change. Yeah. And lastly, please come to class on time, and please respect your lecturer at all times, even after the class. That's what I did, because then you get the barakah of the aim, of the knowledge. Very good barakah. Trust me, you will remember this, because maybe, maybe, maybe today he is got the values like this, but in two, three years time, when you work outside, yes, that's what the value is you will, you will remember that. It, because I, I, I also face the same, same things. To do, now previously, I don't like my lecture. I hate my lecturer because he would just me. But later on, oh yes, what he said is right. 
he knows better. That's why he is a lecturer, that's why he is a professor. And one day when he become a lecturer, they have him. When he stand in front, oh, that was me before, that was me before. I don't like to do this. Something like that. That's why now, after 17 years, I like to teach. 